Mr. Nigel Farage. Thank you, Donald, and good evening, everybody. Well, Donald Trump is coming to town next week, and there's a little surprise prepared for him. What about the Donald? Well, of course, he is going to go to the NATO summit next Wednesday to deliver a very tough message. He then comes here on the 12th. Uh, there'll be a, a, a dinner with some businessmen on the Friday. He'll be in London for most of the day, and we understand he'll be in Scotland on Saturday before heading off to Helsinki to meet Vladimir Putin. And approval was given today for a giant blimp, by which we mean a big floating balloon, a giant blimp dubbed the Trump Baby, and it's Donald Trump as a baby with a big shock of blonde hair and a nappy. And this has been given the green light to fly near Parliament Square next week whilst President Trump is in London. It will fly at 98 feet, because that's what 30 metres apparently equates to. Um, and permission for this has been given by, yes, you might have guessed it, it's London Mayor Sadiq Khan's Greater London Authority. Is this not the biggest insult possible to a visiting US president? And if you think, no, nope, Nigel, free speech, satire, all of that's fine. What's the problem? Sadiq Khan's guys have done the right thing. Call me on 03456060973. Or if you think, as I do, actually, it's an insult too far. Yes, of course, people are allowed to demonstrate. Yes, of course, people can use free speech. But can you imagine the French authorities allowing this on Bastille Day last year when Trump visited Paris? So if, like me, you think, actually, this is really just too much, then text me on 84850. And let me ask you, does any of you seriously think that if an application to fly an Obama blimp of Obama as a young crying baby above Parliament Square when he came here last during the referendum to tell us to vote Remain, do you actually think that would have been allowed in Obama's case? Let me know your view by tweeting using the hashtag Farage and LBC at LBC and of course watch us on Facebook and comment there too. I, I, I just think, you know, you can't stop people, as I say, protesting, expressing their opinion, but I do think this sort of never-ending war of words, and it does cut both ways, because the President invites a fair bit of it, but this never-ending war of words between Sadiq Khan and Donald Trump is frankly ridiculous. I'd say to the Mayor of London, you know, you might not like Mr Trump, you might not like his style, you might find him very confrontational, and you didn't like the so-called Muslim ban. But, Sadiq, where were you when President Obama introduced a total ban on refugees coming from seven predominantly Muslim countries? I didn't hear the howls of outrage. I didn't see the protests in the streets of London back in 2016. And I think, to have allowed this blimp, I believe it's a step too far. I want to know what you think. I want to know what David in Colchester thinks of this. Good evening, David. Hello, Nigel. Thanks for taking my call. Um, nice to talk to you. Um, quite frankly, I think it's about the level of uh, Sadiq Khan's intellect, really, because they can't reason with facts. They can't argue with facts or reason. So they resort to um, ridicule. And um, I just think it's an absolute insult to a country which not only the president, but to the country, which uh, helped us in, or helped England and the Commonwealth in two world wars free Europe uh, from oppression. And um, I think they've got very short memories or selective memories. Uh, and quite frankly, I, I think Khan should be thoroughly ashamed of himself and anyone who supports it should be ashamed of themselves. Yeah, I mean, I mean, David, David, satire and criticism, though. I mean, you know, we've always had cartoons of, of our leaders, indeed our royal family, sort of go back to George III, the cartoons of him weren't particularly complimentary. So we've, yeah. we've always had, you know, one of the freest presses in the world uh, and people, you know, able to express mockery, outrage or whatever it may be. But this is going to be flying nearly 100 feet up in the air in Parliament Square on the day the President of America comes to London. I think it's an insult too far. I, I, I agree entirely. I think, uh, I mean, especially the location, Parliament Square, a yep. stone throw from Westminster. Yeah. Um, you know, if it was out in a, somewhere else in one of the suburbs, you could sort of, 
laugh it off as a sort of bit of a joke and and, and this sort of thing. But no, this this is just a step too far. I think Sadiq Khan should be thoroughly ashamed of himself. And um, it's, it's just a totally, as you say, whatever you like about Donald Trump or not, he's the head of state. We yeah. respect that. Invite the man here. Um, personally, I've got a lot of time for him. Um, but uh, it's a bit, David. It's a bit much, isn't it? I really, oh, it's just, yeah. Uh, no. you know, I, I just, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm with you. Fail me, but obviously they don't. Because I don't <laughs> that, but, uh, they don't fail you because you rang oh three four five six oh six oh nine seven three and gave us your view, David. I thank you.